take a look at this guy. His name is Adam. And yes, that huge cucumber plant is growing in a 4-inch Grodan Rockwool block. Incredible, isn't it? Now, Adam is a professional grower, and he created this monster to demonstrate the power of Rockwool when you dial in the irrigation. So I performed a little, slightly more ad hoc trial of my own. It all began last August when I started some Tokyo hot chili peppers in a Grodan AOK plugs and then transplanted them into 4 inch delta blocks. My basic plan was to take my four best plants to full maturity indoors under this HPS 600 watt grow light. But here's the thing, the first plant was simply transplanted onto a Grodan Uniswap. That's a sort of miniature rock wool grow slab containing just 304 ounces of rock wool or 2.375 gallons, just slightly more than the 6 inch Hugo blocks. The other three plants were eventually transplanted into the luxury of 5 gallon fabric pots filled with a mixture of 70% Mother Earth Cocoa Coir and 30% Mother Earth Chunky Perlite. As far as soilless potting mixes go, they don't come much cleaner and better than that. Now, all four plants were crammed into this 2x4 ebb and flow table and illuminated with a single 600 watt HPS. They were fed the same nutrient solution, Flora Series by General Hydroponics, at 2.0 millisiemens or 1,000 parts per million at pH 5.8 to 6.2 three times a day from the 50 gallon reservoir beneath. Now, I'm not pretending this was a fair or scientific test. It wasn't. To truly compare growing media, irrigation cycles should be tuned to each one and adjusted to suit the volume of any container and plant size. Furthermore, Grodan Unislab should ideally be top fed with drippers and not ebb and flow, but I made sure my flood height was pretty high so the delta block on top would get wet too, helping to mitigate any salt buildup issues. Now personally, I don't have any problems with rock wool and ebb and flow, but it's a good idea to top feed from time to time just to help it wash through. So back to my test. Well, see for yourself. We have four Tokyo hot chili trees in front of us. Just look at those beautiful stems. I am in love with this plant. All the plants were incredibly productive, but believe it or not, the most productive was you guessed it, the one here at the front growing in the Grodan Unislab. There are a few potential reasons for this. Now, rock wool holds up to 8 or even 10 times its own weight in water, while still retaining enough oxygen for the roots. Even when saturated, rock wool manages to retain the ideal water to air ratio. This is one reason why it's the commercial grower's favorite. Rock wool also releases moisture to the plant easily, whether wet or approaching dryness, allowing it to supply a big thirsty plant pretty much as well as the 5 gallon containers full of cocoa coir and perlite. Now, because the irrigation cycles were dialed in for the three plants in fabric pots, the root zone in the Unislab inevitably dried out a little more in between cycles. That helped to steer the Unislab plant more into generative production, whereas the plants in the five gallon pots stayed a little bit more moist, leaning them more to vegetative development. Sure, I'll say the plants in the five gallon pots have gotten slightly thicker main stems, but only just. As far as yield goes, I've enjoyed 15 to 20% more peppers from the Grodan plant. And remember, that's less than half the amount of rock wool. <laughs> it's incredible. The chili plant in the Unislab didn't need to invest so much energy into root production as it's getting everything it needs from the Flora Sears nutrients in a relatively compact space. This is a key feature, my friends, of hydroponics in general. Now, plants are able to invest more energy into flowering and fruit production and less into root production because they're getting everything they need already, whereas plants grown in soil tend to have to go searching for more food and invest more energy into new roots. Now, I know I've already talked up these Unislabs, but I highly recommend these puppies for indoor gardeners who want to get maximum production without having to haul countless bags of growing media in and out of their houses. Sure, you can go pretty much media list with DWC or NFT, but I love the moisture and nutrient buffer these slabs provide. Rockwell provides growers with an all-important safety net should a pump fail and you don't discover it immediately. And they're also completely wrapped, which prevents any algae issues. So folks, if you haven't used grow slabs before, keep the wrap on when using them. Just be sure to cut adequate drainage slits at the bottom of the packaging. Now, other Rockwell options include the Big Mama, a huge 8-inch block that's ideal for mother plants. These are best top-fed with drippers, too. Now, Grow Down also makes larger slabs for between 2 and 4 plants, or there's these awesome grow cubes which you can treat like supercharged, loose-feel growing media. If you fill the 5-gallon pot with these guys, you could easily grow the same size plant possible with 10 or more gallons of soilless mix. Now, what other things can you do to increase yield indoors? Well, plant training is a must. I am always encouraging my fellow growers to try soft mesh netting to create screens of foliage and prodigious pruning for more flowering sites at the same time. 
Get to know your plants and how much nutrients they can handle. Then continue to feed at the highest DC possible to maximize your yields and create the best tasting, most dense final products. Obviously, pH and nutrient temperature need to be kept in check too. Regular automated watering is a must when you're growing big plants in small amounts of media. You know, plants appreciate the consistency and security of knowing when their next meal is arriving, right? Which we all kind of do. Speaking of which, my stomach is growling. So another fantastic thing about Rockwool is that it's really easy to flush. Now, I'm going to make a separate video about flushing, not the upper decker kind, to go into more detail. But for now, know that Rockwool doesn't bond to nutrients like, say, Coco Coyer does. It has zero cation exchange capacity, which means you can rinse it clean of residual mineral salts relatively easy, resulting in a cleaner tasting crop. It's also easier to correct any deficiency or toxicities as you grow. Zero cation exchange capacity gives you more precise control over the mineral that are available to your plant at any given time. That'll do for now. Let me know your comments and questions below. Don't forget there's tons more Rockwell growing information on my website, justforgrowers.com. If you're not already subscribed, know that you hitting that big red button of joy is obscenely important to me. Believe me, I lay in bed at night awake and think about it. So please, just do it. It's free and it gives my life the verisimilitude of purpose and meaning. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye-bye.